Gamers have a lot to look forward to in the next few months and beyond, and while the hype train is certainly chugging along on schedule, it seems to be passing up a whole bunch of lesser-known games that could very well become next year's sleeper hits. It's not because they're doomed to be crappy games, they just aren't generating as much interest as their big-name competition. They still deserve a little coverage nonetheless, so we're gonna give it to them. These are some of the best upcoming games no one is talking about. Soul Calibur 6 it's now been more than six years since Soul Calibur V, and fans of the sword-swinging, character-customizing fighter franchise have been itching for a new experience. Thankfully, Soul Calibur VI, which hits the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC on October 19, 2018, aims to scratch that itch with big, nasty Voldo claws. Under normal circumstances, a new game in the fan-favorite series would be a big deal, but have you seen the release schedule for this fall, with Red Dead Redemption 2, Call of Duty Black Ops 4, and Battle Field 5 on the schedule, a lot of late 2018 games are getting drowned out by the noise, Soul Calibur 6 included. Long story short, if you're a Soul Calibur fan, it won't be too long before you're playing something brand new. Just try not to get distracted by all the other new games dropping alongside it. Session Let's face it, skateboarding games aren't as big as they used to be. Now, before you start sobbing into your can of monster energy, know that there is a beacon of hope on the horizon. Its name is Session and it's slated to come out in 2019. But will anyone notice? Here's the thing about niche sports titles. They either need a big name behind them like the Tony Hawk series, or they need the might of a big publisher to help with marketing, like the Skate series. A skateboarding game from an indie developer could be the most incredible take on the genre ever made, but without name recognition or a studio like EA backing it, not many people are going to hear about it. Hopefully that all changes before 2019, or else Session is headed for the big half-pipe in the sky. Sea of Solitude Sea of Solitude follows in the footsteps of Unravel as a newest member of the EA Originals program. These smaller titles are EA-published passion projects made through a combination of small developers and EA's large war chest. And in this case, the mind behind Sea of Solitude is Cornelia Geppert, who won over the crowd at EA Play 2018 with her passionate presentation. To its credit, Sea of Solitude looks to be an emotional experience, one tailored to the tastes of gamers who love narrative-driven adventures. Unfortunately, a few dangers lurk under the surface of this gem. The first is that EA originals don't typically receive a lot of fanfare, nor does EA put a whole lot of effort into marketing them. Heck, the company released Unravel 2 right in the middle of E3 2018. And even if EA cared about marketing Sea of Solitude, it's due to release in early 2019. That puts it right in the neighborhood of Anthem, Crackdown 3, and Metro Exodus. Darksiders 3 When THQ went belly up in 2013, it put a lot of video game franchises in serious jeopardy. Chief among them was apocalyptic hack and slash series Darksiders. Now, publishers come and go, but it's pretty uncommon for another company to buy up said publishers' intellectual properties, acquire their trademark, and even work alongside a beloved game's original creators to breathe life into a once doomed series. But that's exactly what happened when Nordic Games acquired the Darksiders license all the way back in 2013, renamed itself THQ Nordic in 2016, and dedicated itself to revitalizing THQ franchises. Much to the delight of series fans, Darksiders 3 was announced in May 2017. Darksiders coming back should be a big deal, so why aren't people talking a whole lot about it? Easy, the game follows a whole slew of potential blockbusters coming in the fall, and we're not exactly sure why THQ Nordic would choose to release it on November 27, 2018, four days after Black Friday. Biomutant THQ Nordic isn't just bringing back forgotten last-gen IPs, it's also introducing some new ones into the fold. One of those is Biomutant, a game set in a world where tribes of mutated animals carry weapons and fight off colorful, kooky creatures. It certainly looks like something new and fresh in a world full of military shooters, but for all of Biomutant's potential, people just aren't talking about it. Maybe it's because the title still doesn't have a firm release date, even though the devs claim it'll be coming out in 2018. Seeing as that only leaves a few months for the game's marketing cycle to kick into gear, and for the game itself to come out, the prospect of Biomutant getting the coverage it deserves isn't good. Or maybe it's because gamers will have more than enough to play in the waning months of 2018. We're talking Spider-Man, Red Dead Redemption 2, Fallout 76, and many, many more. Trials Rising People love the Trials franchise. It's the perfect mix of racing, coordination, puzzle-solving, and dumb luck. 
but wow, is Trials Rising coming out at the wrong time. Here's a glimpse of some of the other games coming out in February 2019. Anthem, Metro Exodus, Crackdown 3, and Days Gone. That's a lot of AAA firepower to go up against what is, at its core, a 2.5D motocross game. There's a chance Trials Rising could beat most of those other titles to the punch by launching early in February, but even then, it'll most likely be forgotten when the AAA hype machine gets rolling. It's safe to say that if you're a Trials fan, you'll probably have to pay extra attention for it come February 2019.